All right. Yeah. What, what are you working on, Lee? So, um, yeah, after lo- lots of fun and games, we managed to get GL form fields over the line. Um, and now we want to come and use it. And and I've got quite a nice... Um, so GL form fields was, was born through when I create the new CRM module. And um, I was creating forms and finding that I was just copying and pasting boilerplate template code, whatever you want to call it from elsewhere. Um, so I, I'm, now we've got GL form fields. I'm hoping we can create a, a cruddy form or CRUD forms for achievements nice and easy. Um, but because achievements hasn't got a UI yet, uh, we, we need something real basic, some, some, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, an entry point, a mount point, mm-hmm. something like that. So, so I've almost unleashed another can of worms with kind of like, okay, so to, to get us something to work with, you know, we need something in Roots. We need an index Haml. We need an index JS. We need a bundle. We need, um, hopefully we can use init simple app, maybe. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, but th- this this is then going to be our next two-year challenge <laughs> to try and make this process not such a, a ridiculous, mm. um, I don't know what you want to call it. Do you know what I mean? It's It's just... The boilerplate of doing the whole yeah, yeah yeah and this is where you tell me oh there's there's a, a rails generator for that thing why are you being so silly that would be cool this boilerplate between rails and view is really something that at least myself it puts me off when i am starting a, a project oh i am um very lazy to start because i know all these type of things that i I would like to to dump directly into view, but I I have to do this mm. between rails and view. It's a pain, all right. It's a pain, but anyway, um, now I've I've had a moan about that. Um, but that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I guess I just cracked on quickly, hopefully, um, and put the the basic bits we need in place. Yeah. Um, to, to, to be able to start building a new um, view component. Um, if we find it's going to be a bit um, a bit more long-winded than I expected it to, we can either cheat and we can just mount a view component somewhere where it completely doesn't belong, or you can or maybe dive out on something else that you want to work on yeah. for a wee bit while I get this in place. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, we've, we've got our resource, we've got a controller, um we've got our index um, well i mean we're gonna need to create the list like you know, we'll have to create to get i to was to gonna kind of cheat a like, little bit um but you, you're right that that's gonna need to be quite quite soon but you yeah, know ideally today what would be really fun is if we could implement gl for like use. Well, i would love to see yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm I'm totally cool going down this path. My my preference would be to replace an existing usage. I would love to see okay. that diff. Um but I'm fine either way. Okay. In which case, I believe one of you have another a good candidate for a replacement rather than a, a brand new. Um, and I will save this. I'm still happy to have an attempt at driving. Yeah, well, let's um, see it. Let's see if we can replace. If 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 you're cool with it, let's see. I think Peter had somewhere in the code that that was pretty simple and we could use to try out GL form fields. Uh let's see if we can replace existing form usage with GL form fields. And then I don't think that'll take a long time. And then we can go back to achievements. Does so that sound cool? Let me Absolutely. Jump to another screen where I've hopefully got the email where we had a suggestion. Use and document an example. I guess it was in there. Admin emails form. Was it that one? Yeah, that was that was the one I'm saying. I was saying that it's pretty simple, and it's using like a an older like validation directive that we have on a few forms. So it'd be interesting to see, um, yeah, how it how it converts over to GL forms and how awesome. easy slash hard it is. 
hopefully easy. Yeah, that's awesome. So I did a GDK update. So I tried to be super prepped. Um, nice. Will, oh, nice. Is, is GL form fields going to be in this version of GitLab UI that's in the latest? Like of all those, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. GitLab yeah. UI has had a new release. Um, GitLab has bumped its version of GitLab UI, et cetera. Let me check that out. But you, I don't, I think you are on um, the branch you were previously working on. So you might need to Good point. go to yeah. master. I looked yesterday and it seems, I, I'm pretty sure it's available. Awesome. Oh, we should be good. Awesome. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, as long as you've pulled the latest version of master. Yeah. A, a GDK updated um, okay. not more than, I don't know, an hour or a couple of hours ago. So we should be good. Um, okay. Interesting. Um, what's this? Uh, match. Pick. Do we want to go straight in then and try and do? Oh, there it is. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm legitimately nervous about this. <laughs> I suppose I should be like, yeah, didn't get our. Uh, Get our docs up. Ah, nice. Cool. All right. And then I think um, if you keep scrolling down, yeah, there's all the props there. Oh, is that the code? Oh, wow. That's the whole code for the story. I thought we lost. I thought the code was like not working but it... yeah it rarely works when i tried it in the past so i'm quite surprised that it is cool. um, it must just be really good code hey so you're right um so yeah i'm hoping this will give me a bit of a, a cheat um to be able to kind of get up and running cool that well, sounds great so do i do i do I do I, do I do I just copy just so i've got something to kind of yeah um maybe Cool. Right. Okay. So we want to keep our outermost form from what I understand. Ah, so ah. form. And this was just using form. So does this do any magic? Do we care? Probably not. Well, I think I think we would keep I don't know what no validates doing. Action. Uh, no validate is um just HTML attribute that says don't run the HTML5 validation. Okay, that's I see. That's interesting. Um so we want to give it an ID. We need to do that. That's 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 the easiest easiest small step to do. I'm guessing that's probably gonna to want to be one of the first props. I never have never quite know how to guess what we could just call it admin emails form. Yeah. Should it be? No, it should be hyphened. But yeah. your test. <laughs> We've got to update this then, right? Well, no, 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 because that's a um, that, that's a. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Um. Right. So then. We we probably want to start building this kind of is it's an object or an array? Um, so should I steal this as well? Um so those are all just fields for um yeah, so we'll need to create a fields thing. Let's move over, let's go back to the template and let's move over the top part of the form fields first. So sorry again, but it's uh, move over what, uh, yeah so if you just on line two of the code that you copied, let's copy that over first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um and maybe I'm below the CSRF. I, I we might need to do it below the CSRF one. Um so you think we keep that potentially. Oh, we've got some other fun stuff in here. 
I was gonna still gonna do it because we can just bring it back in when we need it. Sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just I'd like to have it clean. So do you have another extension for VS Code that's like helping you identify the languages really quickly? Um, to to enable one here. Well, like, how did it know this is view like right away? Oh, I don't know. Um, so this does it even know it is view? It just thinks this is HTML to me. But the other one, it knew it was view, or like this one, it does. Right. I'm guessing it's just by the file. Um, uh, but the but the other one, the GL form group one. And this one. Oh, okay. I didn't didn't know it knew. I guess it's all curlies, maybe. Yeah, there's curlies on line 33, so that's interesting. But then it kind of, because it's a weird, incomplete bit of... But they'd um, kind of freak out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't <laughs> hasn't done the best at highlighting, but hey, anyway. um, And then we're going to want and close at some point. Cool, great. Um, if, I, if I remember correctly, the difference between form and the GL form gives just a couple of methods. Right. Um, I think so. Um, I, yes, I think it's quite simple. It's a wrapper around form and okay. gives a, a couple of extra methods. Okay. So, so since we've just hard coded the form ID in line one ninety four, let's just go ahead and hard code it again, and we can move it to variable later if we want to. But yeah, that should be the same. So we do that. Mm -hmm. The submit should. Be Should handled. We just take yes. That from there yes. And wait. On Shandle. On That's... Shandle submit submit. <laughs> um, we will need submit.prevent on line one on the GL form. Yeah. Um, with an at? With an at. Yep. Cool. All right. Then we need form values and, and fields. Yeah, fields, and we're going to need to build that kind of object up here somewhere. So can we? Can we right. Oh, go right, ahead. We, um, I'm actually interested to see if we actually do need that submit dot prevent. Um, I think could we remove it until we actually test the form just to see? Because if I remember correctly, the form fields might take care of that for us. Anyways. Yeah. Do an inline comment. Oh, you can add it, yeah. like... maybe you're right. Oh, uh, you might be. I think you might be right. That's really interesting. I hadn't thought of that. It's kind of a nice thing. So, it, well, I mean, we can add it later, but we'll <laughs> we'll find out quickly if we need it or not. So, absolutely. Uh, the the code suggestion is like a they're they're really pushing. They're they're like a really pushy salesperson. <laughs> Damn, like <laughs> you need some events. Uh, I got events. <laughs> So, are we just gonna do our fields like this, or sure, maybe, or it, we may need to put it in and potentially in data if we need to yeah. reference other met methods and stuff. Wow. Um. Actually, the validation might need other. Uh, the validation might need other values. Because when I was scrolled up, when you scrolled up, I saw something in passing. So do you think we're better doing this in data? I think we're better just doing it in data and let's move it to options if we can, but let's maybe start in data. That's I saw that and I was like, that kind of looks like fields. I wonder what's going on. Uh, yeah, I think it has pretty simple validation, but yeah, we can start in data for now. Okay. Sweet. And then form values, I mean, that's just an empty object. We can start out that off with. Or we can call it form values or whatever else you want to call it. Data, where is it going? OK, sweet. So we need to kind of see what, what what's in this form. <laughs> Yeah, so look, yeah, this thing already has fields, which is interesting. So if we. So it does. So yeah. It's body recipients. That is part of the like um, setup for the older 
uh, validation directive. We could probably just delete that just so it's not like in our way. Um, but yeah, that's a good starting point actually. I say it's only used for that, so I'm I'm not honest. I'll, I'll leave it there for a minute. But, um okay, so yes, yeah, so we've got our three fields now. I'm sure we did have super nice dots somewhere, right? On our fields. So field definition is the type that's up if you scroll up just a little bit. Okay, cool. So it wants a label optional, I hope. Or uh, we maybe we should put the labels required. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. But I think if you scroll up, they they already had like a fields thing. If you if you keep scrolling up, this one. No, I'll scroll up even more. There's a whole yeah. Look at this. We just keep scrolling up. See. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. Good spot. Yeah. I didn't see that one. <laughs> so I was, wow, we've got lots of fields in this one now. Um, thanks, Paul. Uh, used by how this appears to have mashed up. Is it just, just like that? Or... Okay, so well, the label, so the validation is handy. We've got a message on there. Label oh, we've got our helper thing, the, our required thing. Did we end up exporting it before? Oh, we, you know uh... we did, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> we totally <laughs> did. I I don't remember where I put it though. Um, let me go. Yeah, we we totally did. <clears throat> Import required from at GitLab slash UI slash. Oh, so I need to. Hopefully it's at least four or five levels deep. Or I think it's in utils. I think yes. If you import form validators from GitLab UI slash utils, that'll be it. And it's a oh, little it's, it's... it's a little form validators. Yeah. Sometimes the I complete thing is just Nice. All right. Okay, so we can use form validators dot require. <laughs> so key is actually the ID of these fields. So I think that's in um, input adders. If you go up to the field definition input adders, we would want to put the ID and that seems to be what they were using the key for. Oh, uh, I don't, uh, we might, we might be able to just delete the key. I think that the key was just, I think the key was being used for the ID and lay, uh, um, was it used for the name though too? If it's used for the, for the, oh, we might. Okay. Need. Yeah. I think it was used for the name of the field. So yeah, we would have to put it in input attributes as name, I think. Okay. But yeah, well, yeah. This is a, is this a, um, sorry, I think I zoned out a little bit. Is this the, like a Rails form that we're? Yeah. Um, we're... yeah. Well, it's view, but obviously it's view, obviously view, but um, it submits uh, with just like a regular HTTP post request, like reloads the page. It's not Ajax. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I love those forms. You, <laughs> you always get a you always get a fresh, up to date data at the after submitting. So, cool. Um, let's update the validation message. Um, yeah. We'll we'll do the the recipient seems like the harder one here, but let's let's figure that out in a little bit. So validators is an array, uh, and we'll put form validators dot required. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then and it's then a, we yeah we pass it our message yet. Yep. Yep. Ah yeah.
Yeah, I should just turn that um IntelliSense in with what's it off because I, I can't remember the last time I accepted a suggestion. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good to keep keep dog fooding it. I'm like, at least you're you're watching it in case it starts, you know, swearing at the user or something. You'd be like, able to why, people. why would it suggest <laughs> this? In all honesty. Well, if we're already got that right below. <laughs> like, are you not context aware? Um, right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, shall I just get rid of? Let's. Yeah. 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 Well because it's it's a different process, right? Yeah, and I mean, that's, that's going to be again, something different. Maybe we do come in and out this time just to remind ourselves that's a good idea. that we might need to do something. Um, I kind of want to try it already. <laughs> sure. Too yeah, eager? I mean, no, let's let's get the feedback loop going. Um, do you know where where this form is? Yeah, it's actually like the hardest form to find in GitLab. So uh, <laughs> if you go to admin. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh like no, that's that. us. Uh oh. Can't resolve GitLab UI utils. No. Ah. Yeah, I was wondering because we didn't get any Intel sense if we didn't have that. Correct. Is it like GitLab slash UI slash dist slash utils or something? Oh, yeah, you do have to put dist in there, I think. Really? Yeah, I look for other... All right, that's that's something. There's different. lots of them, so it seems reassuring. Um, it is the dis utils. Ah, so, so sorry, you were saying, Peter. Uh, go to users on the left hand side. Why has that weird sport path? In this, and then in the upper right hand corner, the tiny little button with the with the envelope on it. Mm. As far as I'm aware, the package.json only resolves like one main entry point, and when we compile all of GitLab UI, it goes into the dist folder. So I'm sure like importing GitLab UI maps to dist slash index. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, if we want to import from anything else in that folder, we have to be specific. Oh, nice. Great start. Maybe we could add another path. We're missing a button. Um... We are missing the button. But the subject is required. Body is required. It's all... I don't think the button is a field, so it's uh, it's not the responsibility of more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It works. It's um, doing it. So I ripped it out, all right? So admin emails are currently rate limited. What is that? Can we can we go down that rabbit hole real fast? Oh, um, yeah. You're only allowed. Uh, I forgot about that part. You're only allowed to submit the form like once every ten minutes or something. But I, <laughs> there's a way to like just. Delete the rate limiting quickly. Uh, I can find it. You can keep going. Okay. I think that means we'd have to move all of our form values and our form fields until we could compute it, right? So that we can pass that in through the input adders. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're we're still in view land. We can still like, use view stuff. <laughs> so you yeah. want to disable the the button when it doesn't pass the validator, right? Is that uh, should um, just be outside of the no 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 I would I would put it it can well I I see what you're saying yes 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 it needs to go outside yes 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 um no our UX guide is actually not to disable a button um okay. the button should trigger validation exclusive lease cancel uh, well if you if you run this in the Rails console, like if you get the rate limit and you run that in the Rails console, it'll just clear it. Uh, okay. So that's one way we could clear it. Might get okay. kind of annoying if we're submitting the form over and over again, but yeah. Okay. 
That makes nice. this a quick. That's that's good to know. Awesome, thank you. But where what where's that computer coming from though? Um, is it does it make like a query or is it coming from provided or something? What computer? Oh, it's it's yeah. provided. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, it just comes from Rails. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Come on. Our beautiful form fields. Oh. Beautiful. Great. So ship it. <laughs> Why not? You got the before and after screenshot. That looks right. Actually, body has to be a text area. So let's let's go back and keep 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 migrating the old thing. So I think we moved the let's delete the button. We moved everything over from on the right hand side. If we go to the that okay. can we just delete what we've moved over? Yep. Okay. And then let's start at the top, maybe. Oh, so we got this box as well. So, so we, should we just ignore form groups or? I'm looking at this. Yeah, key is used as both the ID and name, but it looks like we don't need the ID since that's just used for the label matching up. Uh, the validation stuff we're already hand we're we're handling. Um, state is what we're handling. Yeah, all that's great. I think I think we have that, so I think we can get rid of that first form group. Uh, here we have a text area. Um, the old example has need a slot. Yeah, one of those old slots. What's your language? Uh, uh, so the slot name should be the field name, right? Yep. I don't remember what it was at all. Oh, body. Yep. And what do we need to? And then the then it'll just be a text area instead of all the weird button stuff. It'll be a text area or GL text area. Oh, we yeah. actually have the we actually have it in the um yeah this yes. So we would need to bind um uh the ID. Um, do we need the, uh, it wouldn't V model we wouldn't yes that would be ID we wouldn't V model the value we would need to just value the value <laughs> magic value or normal value yes just magic value Um, we also need to input the input yes thank you Andrew <laughs> we need to input the input and blur the blur um, but those are <laughs> those are at inputs and at blurs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and Peter had an interesting idea of like, what if we grouped the like of states we need to bind and events we need to bind into rather than having it all spread in one level, we could have like events and state. So I could just do v bind state, v on events, and that might be kind of cool. Uh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. So, How do we get the validation message? The validation message is handled by the form yeah. group around this. So we don't need, but we do need to pass state as a thing that we would need to, that I think we okay. receive. Because it's already, yeah. it's already binding like the values and the inputs and the blurs, et cetera. So we can get rid of this. Right? Yes. This. Yeah. The state is one that we, we get from the slot. So we need to include that. Yeah. Just like that. I think so. And then what about the name as well? Right. I'm now just realizing, oh no, do we not have input adders um that go through here? And I'm I'm thinking maybe not because we're in a slot. So maybe that's why we maybe forgot to expose those. Right. But we we can manually add it for now. Yep. I guess that's the purpose of this exercise, right? Once you come to use it, you you identify some. I mean, maybe we did expose it. I can't remember. It's but... not. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, but I mean, we have it. So, so did you say we need to do something with the name as well, or? Um, we will need to. Uh, we just need to hard code the name. Well, you could do fields dot body dot input attributes dot name. Oh, if you... yeah, we could do that. That's that's true too. Yeah. 
that's actually an interesting idea. Oh, it's a feature. I mean, I it's... Yeah, yeah. This is how you're supposed to use it. This is this is how it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But it'd be in. Uh, in... Yeah. Yeah. Body you, done. You maybe want to remove the require or not? Because the validation happened. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Totally. Um. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. I think so. Expectation. Oh man. Mm. We've got JavaScript compiling JavaScript to send JavaScript to your JavaScript engine. Woohoo! Woo wow, it, it's rendered. I shouldn't woohoo too much. Oh I? no, no, no. This is this is okay. Yay! Wow. All right, but the state doesn't look like this. It, doesn't seem like the state is working on it. Oh, because it's not red. Yeah. Um I might have named that... it something else. I did name That's it cool. something else. I called it oh I called it was like is valid. Is invalid. I called it validation. I'm a little I'm a little ashamed by calling it validation. <laughs> Why did I call it that? What is this? Yeah, it's validation has a um sorry, it'd be validation dot state. I'm passing this down as yeah, the field validation props has invalid feedback, which is the message, huh. which I don't think we need, but we would use validation dot state. That's so, another thing that we should probably do is uh capture the the scope slot type in the yeah. documentation. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. So, so this sorry, be... did you say here I need to do Yep. Yep. And then Yep. Oh. That's it. <clears throat> and where where, want... where can I look on, on here to understand why we have to do that? If you go to um uh, fields to render. If you scroll down just a little bit, um, there we go. Yeah. If you see the scope slot adders, yeah, that's um, that's the one. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of binding each of these these things. Nice. Yay. Beautiful. Um, now this I think was a special build as well, right? Yes. Yeah. So are we reasonably happy with this one now? I'm reasonably yeah. happy. <laughs> yep. Um we have this crazy error message. For some reason. Why is that in the middle of form? What 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 does this error? What's it used for? So I mean, this must be if the list box is is not working, right? I think yeah. the list box loads options async, and then if it fails, maybe it shows that. I can't remember. Yeah. 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 Okay. So one thing we won't be able to do right now is you see how the alert is before the form group. That's yeah. not something we're going to be able to do, but we could do it inside the form group uh, and see how that works and try to hit trigger that failure. But we should be able to copy this somewhat as is. So we need another um, scope slot. Yeah. Um, but then do we have to reinvent the wheel? Well, no, no, okay. So, so we're going to put it inside this. Yeah, okay, gotcha, right. gotcha. I think I've got you in there. So we're gonna do another um, template. This time it's for what was the field name? Recipients, was it? I think you're right. And inside this one, we're gonna put our GLLR. Yep. 
points of haste, so horrendous. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So, okay. I've got a general form and but yeah, so then I would copy those two over. The whole... Not the group, but just the other parts. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, um... So let's just look, what did we do before? We don't need to pass. So the first input seems like it's just a hidden input for the form submission. Yeah. So yeah. I, we shouldn't need anything but the ID name and class and value there. Um. The I, I, oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, that should be, I think that should be fine. We do need the name for sure. And the value. Yes. Oh yeah. And the V validation. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. We don't have to do it right now, but I remember the reason it's not just a hidden input is because the old validation directive didn't work with hidden inputs, so I made it a regular input with GL display none. But ah, oh, I see. Yeah. So, so we could maybe do just type hidden, is what you're saying? Um, yeah, I don't think GL form input works with hidden. You just have to do the HTML5 input and then do hidden. I see. Just like uh, on line two twenty one. Let's do you want to exactly. let's just do that. Yeah. We're going name, copy across, and value. Sweet. Oh, nice. We didn't even have to use view components. Wow. HTML5 elements are it's the new thing. <laughs> um, this box. Okay. So are we changing this to value again? Yep. And we might need to pass uh, the ID to G the collapsible list box. OK. Um, all of that should be good. The things that we are. Oh, now we're just passing value. We don't have our input listening back though we need to pass our input um so we, we'll need the input and blur probably still does the list box blur it might not blur um but we do need the input one um i think we have a list box in the documentation so we can see what we're doing there can't remember i think the or no, sorry, in the in the documentation for the form fields where you have a list box. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, right there. Favorite item. Oh, uh, this might so be. Do you want to look, look at the code then? Sorry. Yes. Or... Let's do it. But I have a feeling this is not a list box. I have a feeling it's one of the other. Uh... It is. Oh, great. Yes, it's called select and selected. Yep. And I guess hidden is the blur, maybe. Oh, OK. That makes, that makes sense. sense. <clears throat> So will we change in selected? Yeah. For 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 which one? Input or value or value will be selected. Uh, yeah. Nah, so nah. No. 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 Uh two forty nine input is select. And then I guess two fifty blur is hidden. Yeah. Um, do we need to do the state as well? Well, 
And I don't think it's going to do anything, but yeah. Yeah, I might not have one of those things. I'm not seeing it. So yeah, I don't I don't know if we can do that. Let's we don't, we'll have to do it with a class. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think the drop downs have a error state as far as I know. So Oh no. Oh no. Uh, that's because Oh, uh, oh, it's because so... online 251. Well, we don't, but it doesn't have it. I just looked it up. It doesn't have it. Oh. It's, okay, so we, yeah. we've been it off, essentially, for now. Yeah. And maybe conditionally set a class based on the validation state. Or... Okay, how do we feel about GL form fields right now, having, having used it just a little bit? It's the worst. I didn't find it as intuitive as I would have liked, so... Uh... I'd, uh, hopefully this video will serve a really good purpose, but you know maybe we sum some eyes in a little bit to try and understand some of the whys and if there's any way. I, I think it's unavoidable when we're using the slots that you just have to. But then you were saying that you had an idea of of kind of lumping these together in a sort of event handlers and um, something else. Yeah, that might be the. I I think that could be helpful. I think it's I think it's in cases like the drop down that I'm concerned about that we'd end up doing even more mapping than because we can't assume that all the inputs have the same shape of state and events. I I wonder if we could handle some more simple scenarios other than just an input box. Did you know I, I didn't know that this component exists? It's that we we had uh, an example. I've been looking for this for a while. Uh, uh, although, am I looking for multi select? No, I think I'm just looking for drop down. But one that this this lists all projects and all groups. Does it? Uh, well, I'm sure there's some custom loading yeah, stuff that you have to. But we do have a shared component for projects. If you want to just show projects or just groups, I think we have shared for both of them. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the the co combination of the two that I'm specifically working oh, yeah. today. So can I can can we try some things out? Let's try uh, submitting without selecting anything. Okay. Um, with these populated or not? I mean, if you just submit it, like it shouldn't let us submit it. Is the thing. So that's the the um. Yeah, nothing's happening. That's the um. The uh. Pajamas. A submit prevent thing that um, Peter said oh. we didn't need. It's already doing automatically, which is great, right? Yep. Um, so now let's populate it. Let's see if it submits successfully. Oh, you can you can. Oh wow, is this you can notify everybody? Wow. Let's notify it fight again lab action. instance. <clears throat> Flight JS. Oh no, it's not showing the value. Uh oh, something is off here. Oh uh, in the list box where it says um toggle text. Toggle text. Toggle, toggle. text needs to be updated. That's I think. <clears throat> oh yeah because there's no dot value oh yeah we need to probably update a number of these so this would come from form values do you happen to have the uh the view dev tools extension i do yeah can we can we hop into, into the data the yeah 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 So we'll um, let's schedule. do this whole one. So there's form values. Recipients is the actual ID of the thing. Okay. So form values dot recipients is what we named it. 
Yes. Yes. Form so values. That? Yes. I think so. And then on recipients, yeah. but now I'm also saying, hey, we also have recipients value. Maybe we should just reference recipients value in line 116. Yeah. Is that going to be, is the recipients value going to be an empty string or is it going to be no? I don't know. I can't remember. I guess we find it'll, be, it'll be an empty string, I think, right out the yeah, gate, right? Not, it'll actually be undefined out the gate, I think. Um, yeah. So yeah, maybe we would just want to check the falsiness of it. That should be sufficient, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. That is, uh, yeah. So just, just check. Yeah, yeah. So we just say, but then we were gonna copy this. The null check would work if we use that computed, because that computed's falsy will always be null-ish, I guess. Or that's but... not falsy, right? That's just null and undefined. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I think you need um an exclamation point before that though in the early return because we're switching yeah there you go yeah quite right yeah um, okay cool and that's all of our computers i think this is going to let us remove a number of good amount of code which i'm kind of excited about it's not that difficult of an abstraction for a lot of code removal that i'm really interested to see how it affects our tests too um because maybe it's also a lot of test removal. So would you, would, you'd still want to test things like that if you don't build this build out that it shows this required message or not? Yeah, I think that's kind of the, the issue, right? Is that we still have to test all these, pretty much anything that uses a scope slot, right? Yeah, I feel like we can abstract a lot of that so we don't have to write the, rewrite it out oh, all the time. Like like a like a some sort of fancy test matching kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maybe a jest matcher. We could abstract it and then we could just say like if or we can say expect form to have form errors or whatever. Um that would be and then you just and then you never even really have to think about what's happening behind the scenes. So it looks like it's worked, all right? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Submit it. Does it does it submit? Well, I think we yeah we probably have to change the submit handler because it's got a lot of random stuff in there. But it doesn't submit. No. Well, the, previously the submit handler was doing all the custom validation, so we have to just get rid of that probably. Let's see, so we look for those. <laughs> Do, so should we just call um is form is form uh, a oh wait I don't think we need I a think submit we can just delete this yeah yeah like we don't need a submit handler I don't think because it's do we just want it to submit the form right <laughs> yeah but because the the form validation is handled by form fields already. Yeah, but we'll need to we'll need to do the actual submission of the form. You know what I'm saying? But it's but a it's, native, it's a native HTML form. I know, but I'm concerned that I did prevent default on the thing. I don't think so. I think only if it has errors, it prevents default. Otherwise, it just lets it go. Really? Could be. I hope so. That'd be nice. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling. <laughs> that would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad that this is this was the intent was to use it and get feedback and then now absolutely, we gotta, absolutely. now we got to freaking fix form fields. <laughs> I think it'd be nice. It'd be nice to be able to handle most of the GitLab UI form fields that we have. Oh, like out of the box, so you didn't have to slot them. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cool. Oh, uh, darn, we say we did. I guess we did do that. So, um, so should when... I go? On. You can just submit it with a ref temporarily. Could I just 
Uh, <laughs> Can you call prevent prevent default? <laughs> I want to submit this one for reals. If you put a if you add a ref to the GL form, yeah, just call it form, <clears throat> and then um, in the we'll have to bring back that submit handler. And we change it so is is it like um, right? I think it's called handles. Uh, the form dot submit is it yeah. something like that that we're trying to do that? I think. Yeah, that would maybe work. Yeah, there's, there's, a, it's possible. Super optimistic, <laughs> right? It's possible this, this has a small issue with it, where, um, HTML forms when they submit, they take control over the browser. I think if you call the submit function, it won't take control of the browser. Like, it won't actually follow the form. I think. Let's see. Hope it does. Whoa. Uh, not a function. Huh. Refs form submit is not a function. Is it because this is? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, uh, you got to do form dot. L? Dollar sign L, I think maybe. Yeah, dollar sign L dot submit. That's the that's the money. Uh, I, I I when when you said it, I was gonna do that. I was like, I've never <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> we thought this view business was a good idea. <laughs> no, everyone hates seeing view code that you know does all this. So here's um. Here's an idea of how we can handle it. Well, no, I'm, I'm still thinking. What do you? I'm I'm trying to figure out how we can handle this out of the box from form fields. So can I can I look at the? I feel like we should just get we should not prevent default. We should only prevent default if it's if it has errors would be my opinion. But and then if you go back if you go back to line one seventy four. What's challenging is. And maybe the check before submission, we need to figure out a way not to make that asynchronous. But since it is asynchronous, uh, HTML needs a synchronous uh, response of, do I prevent this or not? You know what I mean? Is it, yeah. why, is is it, it, why is it asynchronous? We have to do a next tick maybe or something? Maybe we have to do a next tick. I don't totally remember why. Um, Hmm. Yeah, because it's because it's owned by those. Oh, but it works. It works, right? That's it working, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so dot submit works. That's pretty good. So my other thought was, if we go back to the if we go back to the code, um, the component code, the actual the like the form field. Sorry. Code. Yeah. 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 This. Uh, really this one? The other thought is if we're valid. But we have no listeners, like no submit listeners. Let's just call the submit method ourselves. Like do that by default. Because we've got a ref to the form already in here, haven't we? Right. And what what do you all think of, of that? Or is that just yeah. is that is that assuming too much? I think That's it's good. I wish there was a way to just pause the event. <laughs> I mean, that's what that prevent nice. default kind of does. But then how do you restart it? Yeah. Are you, are you thinking you might be able to do, like, joking aside what you said before, there's some kind of, like, e.default so you can prevent it, but then you can... <laughs> Fire it again, yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't yeah, I don't know if we're there. Um well I'm glad the submit function worked. Like that's not the worst. Uh, yeah, I mean we've got a token, we've got a subject, we've got a body, we've got a recipient. It's uh are we interested in Yeah, can we see the diff? Yeah. 
Wait, watch us, watch us still have a, more code this way. We still have a good amount of code to delete, I think. Right, right. okay, let's do a bit of tidy up then, shall we? Um, let's start at the top, maybe, and just see what's... what's that's that's an insane idea. <laughs> because feed... I know. <laughs> feedback map. <laughs> We don't need. So I don't think we need geoform input. So we, we don't need to feedback that. Why is that being else being referenced, right? So we shouldn't need form. We why are we you no because we started to just use input right. So That's right. Form and thing. Nice. Um, we're using the button. We're using the list box. We're using the other uh, And yes, we're using the form files. <laughs> Cool. Can get rid of that, yeah. So we don't need any of that anymore. I think nope. that's right. Um, what about what? Where's the debounce coming to things? Uh, that's gonna Probably be with the... first searching the list box. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So um, we probably need the rest of that. I think on the rest of the imports. So yeah. then we got rid of form fields. No, we don't. We're no, really we form fields. We what are you talking one. about? <laughs> form group. Form input. That's it, I think. You get rid of the directives. Nice, nice. Um, those fields we're not using anymore. Um, oh, but wait. Uh, did we get the messages passing through correctly? We didn't the... do this bit, did we? So we probably need to somewhere we left that commented out. Yeah, I think we did. Um, we can get rid of. You probably move those into the I team and yes, block. I mean... uh, all of these ones, you mean? I oh, no. Just do. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. if you scroll down to the ones we commented out i think yeah that's what we we're saying is let's just move those ones commented out into the i18 and i'm 37 you have to remove it um sorry just to say but we need to do something with these right or or not yes yeah yeah because we just deleted the ones we were referencing Right, so we have to move these versions into the the I eighteen end block. The internationalization is that internationalization? Is that what that is? Yeah. I thought that this was actually like we 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 need to wire them up somewhere though. If you know what I mean, not not just yeah. buying yeah, we, them. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to wire them, but so we'll do that I, when we get down there. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Um, on line 39, let's get rid of form. Uh, error we probably need. Yes, that's yeah. being used. Cool. Yep. And then, yeah, 58 and 59, we get rid of those comments now. We're going to remember to wire those up, are we? Yes. <laughs> it has error uh, property. Um, is that related with the with the validation, the previous validation? Can we I, I that? think we'll, we'll check where it's used, but I think it's if something, yeah, so if we catch uh, an error when we're fetching and groups and projects. Yeah, that so. is the, with the groups, so we can, we need to. And I, yeah. and I think yeah. that has like form fields would look slicker here if the recipients was bit was like in its own component that would be cool um we still need to see how the alert looks out inside the form group because yeah might... and i'm interested what this was oh i don't think we need that anymore we'll just get rid of it nice nice uh 78 so we... Go it's line 78 is the old reference to those loading messages we can just replace fields recipients with i18 ends just put an 18 ends it's just an i in the front and 18 ends so we still need options <laughs> including <that> eventually <laughs> <laughs> 
I always forget how to spell internationalization, so I just spell it with 18 N's. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most ridiculous way to uh, to shorten uh, yeah. anything. <laughs> it, what's funny, too, is it's actually probably not, like, counting the number of letters in the word is probably not an international way to spell it either. You know what I mean? <laughs> The French are like, what are you talking about? It's I-20 in. <laughs> yeah, Germany has, you know, they have to put commas in the amount of numbers they have between there. <laughs> uh, all right. Yes, we still need this. We still need this. We still need this. I think we're... There we are. Yeah, Is it... you can get... It doesn't really matter, but you can get rid of no validate on the form because we're not doing any HTML5 validation anymore. Sweet. I'm just going to see if we've broken it yet. Um, Peter shared on uh, something you'll need to run on the Rails console to uh, get that 10 minute blocker unblocked. Please wait two minutes. Well, Almost be there, but not quite. It would be nice if we could maybe simplify the templates inside the GL form fields. And that's the only thing that it feels a little bit you mean the the sort of I think Andrew, pub, yes, Andrew all of the that. yes, yeah, yeah. We have a bunch of components that we kind of have control over that I think we could make a little bit smoother, for sure. Text area would be nice as your support out of the box. Yep. Text areas, toggles, checkboxes. Yeah. I think. Uh, if you go in the in the network dev tools, we should uh, like disable internet and see what this alert looks like. Yeah. 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 yeah somewhere can I switch it? Just go uh, offline. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, and then try to search down. for a project. Oh, mamas. Okay. Good. That's pretty good. I think. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> well, it's just missing the icon because the network's oh, off. Because the internet's out. Okay. Yeah. It so would have an icon and it would look the, normal. The cache. Right. Um, what's it using? Is it using? Yeah. So I could just block these instead, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Right. Is that is that it's a little silly? Is that comparable to where it was before? I think that's how it it might have been above the label before. I don't know, but it would have been right because it would have been outside the group. Yeah. yeah. I think it kind of makes sense inside the label. I think the most uh disappointing thing with the UX here is is the box covers the error message. What you know? covers the error message? Uh, if you if you, if you uh, refresh if you do it again, Lee. That. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know mm. if that would really change though. Wow. Is there enough padding between the label and everything? I think it's That's just because of the right. layout shift or something. Right. Yeah. I I think this is kind of highlighting maybe something a little that could potentially we're overlooking with the list box itself of we're not rerunning popper when the thing moves, you know? Mm -hmm. But I have no idea. I I don't know what the desired thing is, but that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I, I would I would awesome. So how many lines of code have we removed? Yeah, let's right. figure that so out. And then we're at we're at time. It's kind of annoying that the whole thing fails if one of the searches fail. 
Okay. Is there is there a number right in front of me that I can't see, or have I got a? Um, you could do get this stat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. That is nice. Oh, it's awesome. And that's nice. even with the sort of verbosity that we've got at the moment with with all of this, which we might be able to improve on a little bit. Or are you a bit reluctant to? The the list box I don't see us being able to do too terribly much. Yeah. But the text alert, I think we can probably or the text area, not the alert. So here's a crazy idea. I'm not, I don't know we're at time. So after this, Lee, if you can just push up an MR uh, for this, and then maybe next time we can pair on testing for it, or if someone wants to take off, try to try to figure out a nice way to test this. But from the MR, I think we can also create some notes to solve upstream, which would be cool. Uh, the um, here's a crazy idea though. In uh, fields. Oh, this is gonna fail. You know it's gonna fail. What do you? Think? I'm just. Oh, uh, you, you can't blame. You can't blame me, Ken. <laughs> In, In fields. Field, sorry, Paul. What what do you all think if we had um a component property Ooh. here? Yeah. Like and I'm almost wanting to like pass render function. Like that would be so interesting if we did it here instead of in the tone. But I know that that that's me thinking in React way and we're not there. So that's just something to think about. But maybe we could talk about in the MR of ways we could make the template a little simpler. I think a plain component property makes a lot of sense. Um, I think we just have to be when when we go to do the template stuff, we have to be a little bit smart about um, mapping mapping properties to things, right? Right. So we would need like some sort of mapping function with that. But man, yeah, which is so much of me. Once you give a component, once you have a mapping function, is like I wish we just had render functions. Like, like that's that's the best part of JSX, and everyone hates React and L. But it's like being able to just pass functions that render components around is kind of nice. Oh well. Yeah, I like it too. I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's especially <laughs> verbose. I don't know. I was testing yeah. something and I had to write a render function for it recently, and it's just like incredibly verbose. In, was this for in, a React thing? View. No, it was in Vue. Oh, I was testing like, some like slot, <laughs> some some sort of slot thing, and I was like, I'll just write a render function. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I know what you mean. All right, cool. Thanks, everybody. This was great progress and good feedback. I'll push it up and, and tag you. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Liam. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.